McDonald's may not be perfect, but you can't blame them for trying new things. Sometimes their gambles even work out. After all, the Chicken McNugget was a new fast food concept in 1983, and we all know how that turned out. Unfortunately, however, not every fast food invention is going to be a success. And every once in a while, McDonald's manages to come up with an idea that goes down like a lead balloon. Maybe the concept doesn't make sense, or the rollout is shoddy, or maybe people just aren't ready for something new. Either way, things don't always turn out well when McDonald's decides to take a new direction. Take some of these burgers, for example. First up is the McLean Deluxe. McDonald's thought it had hit pay dirt with this burger, which had 9% fat in its patty rather than the usual 20%. It seemed like the perfect fast food item for the fat-conscious 1990s, so McDonald's rushed it out at all of its restaurants nationwide. But the McLean had a few issues. It was expensive for one, but more importantly, it just didn't taste any good. The McLean debuted in 1991 and hung on until 1996 before finally being discontinued. Low fat and delicious? Can't be done. Over in Norway, McDonald's drew fire from international relief organizations in 2002 after billboards in Oslo announced the arrival of a limited time burger called the McAfrica. The McAfrica was made up of beef, cheese, tomatoes, and salad in a pita and was said to be based on an authentic African recipe. The only problem? An estimated 12 million people in southern Africa were starving at that time. After the McAfrica debuted, an official from Norwegian Church Aid said, Launching a burger with such a name at the same time Africa is facing perhaps its worst hunger catastrophe ever is very bad timing. McDonald's later admitted it wasn't a good look for one of the world's richest nations to have a hamburger named after a continent experiencing massive food shortages. Still, they kept the limited-time promotion going until its scheduled end. But the McAfrica wasn't universally reviled, with one African organization in Norway actually coming out in support of the McDonald's misfire. In the wake of the controversy, the head of African youth in Norway said the relief organization's anger was misplaced. He said, Finally we see someone who uses the continent's name in a positive way. Even though there is a terrible shortage of food in some areas of Africa, this is far from the situation all over the continent. But although the McLean Deluxe and McAfrica didn't exactly go down well. They were far from the worst burgers McDonald's ever put out. No, the one burger that McDonald's will really be hoping you've forgotten is the McDLT, which was sold from 1984 to 1991. In fairness, the McDLT did have a few things going for it. For one, it didn't taste terrible, and it didn't remind anyone of starving people in Africa either. The problem was that it came with an extra side of styrofoam. All McDonald's burgers came in styrofoam containers in the 1980s, but the McDLT was served in a double-wide clamshell, with one half holding the beef patty and the bottom bun, and the other half containing the lettuce, tomato, cheese, and top bun. Basically, the idea was that the hot side Side would be kept hot and the cool side would be kept cool. But any benefit to this convenience was far outweighed by the environmental implications of the double dose of styrofoam in each order. The rise of the McDLT coincided with increasing public awareness of styrofoam's impact on the environment. Styrofoam's ingredients are cancer-causing and take hundreds of thousands of years to break down, crumbling into small pieces that end up being ingested by birds and fish. Eventually, McDonald's consulted with the Environmental Defense Fund, and by the early 1990s, its styrofoam clamshells were history, along with the McDLT. Today, the chain is working towards a goal of 100% sustainable packaging, so it's hard to believe they're particularly proud of their styrofoam-laden past or the McDLT itself. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.